Grand Rising, everyone. I hope you're all about to have an amazing Friday. Uh, I know I'm about to, on my way to go punch the clock. And this morning, I woke up, had a really good start. I was able to kind of jot my goals down, read a page of my book, and just overall get a good mindset going so when I get into work, I can kind of just focus on my work and not have to worry about any of the, the nonsense that goes on around me. And as I was brushing my teeth in the morning, because I have a, like a, a tension span of a goldfish, I have like my phone on YouTube shorts next to me, literally on the thing as I'm brushing my teeth. I'm swiping through it and I come across this short and it's this guy talking about this lady or something that apparently was sick in the hospital. She had like some illness and her job still made her send emails from her hospital bed. I was reading that and the guy was talking about, he was like, oh, do these jobs really care about us, whatever, and such and such. And it just had me thinking, like, okay, one, that sucks. Who would, who would realistically want to be sending emails for their job, at least, in their hospital bed or in a hospital bed? But then it had me thinking beyond that, right? Was once I thought that, I thought something else. Then I was like, you know what? If I had owned the business, I wouldn't mind sending emails if I was able to from my hospital bed like if I could type and I was okay but I'm in a hospital bed because it looked like she was okay because she was smiling in the picture she just might have had like I think I forget what sickness she had but she was sick but she didn't look like she was dying like deathly ill but she was in a hospital bed with her laptop on her lap and it had me thinking it was like okay cool if I could do that like if I had my own business going right well I do have my own business going so realistically I, like for the business that I have running myself, I would not mind sending emails or doing light operations if I could behind the scenes in a hospital bed if I'm if I'm on my laptop. Like I wouldn't mind that I'd do that. Like for example, say if I'm in the hospital, I actually I don't want to speak that out there. Scheduling YouTube videos, you can do that from uh, that sort of situation. Um, emails, like she was doing maybe just checking up like little micromanagement on people just making sure if you have people that watch over other people or whatever like you can you can kind of do stuff like that but also don't get me wrong doing that for a job probably sucks but then maybe she has something important that she's got to do for her job so that's why she has to do that got to really get into the details but don't get me wrong there are a lot of places out there that'll just screw over use you like that chew you up spit you out and then you'll have to go looking for the next place or even worse you'll probably be there for a couple maybe even 10 20 years and next thing you know they fire you or they put you on furlough or something because times are getting tight point is though i wouldn't mind doing that for my business i don't see anything wrong with it if i was in that situation and it was capable of, of working a little bit i would do it maybe that's because i did recently read uh the four hour work week so it's crazy that I finished that book and then now I've seen something kind of related to it and I'm thinking differently about the situation because maybe she was like that. She was like, shit, I don't know, at least I don't got to be at the office. Maybe, maybe, maybe she tried to turn a positive or a negative into a positive because sometimes it happens like that. But it was just, it was just another way of thinking. You can't always be so quick to assume the negative out of a situation. You can actually find some way to turn a negative situation into a positive situation. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this lady did. She was probably sitting there and was like, you know what, I can get something done. I don't wanna just sit here and do nothing and watch TV. Like that's how you know she's a, she's a true hustler. That lady need a trophy. You know how people always say like they get like the hustler of the year award? That going to that lady because she's sending emails in the hospital bed. So that basically should tell you the standards of work that you need to match from everybody else or a lot more of the other competitive and hardworking people out there that they're sending emails and working from hospital beds. And if you aren't on the level to where you can do that and you're not even thinking about, okay, how could I be in a situation to where I could even do something like that? Because a lot of us can't even work from our own bedroom. So like, you, you gotta really think, think. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's why like a lot of things it's crazy the perspectives and the interpretations you'll start your mind realistically not even you'll start that your mind will just give you and lead you to when you explore different ways of knowledge and educating yourself because realistically if you don't ask the right questions you're never going to get the right answers and the right information so like 
you won't ever get a chance to think the logical questions because you don't feed yourself logical shit. You just watch a bunch of brain rot on the internet and, and think you learned something. You might you might scroll through a hundred horrible shorts or a hundred a hundred horrible videos, come across one knowledgeable video, learn something, and then it'll get like washed through and washed down and you'll forget whatever it is that you learn or the meaning or whatever it was because you watch an, another hundred shitty videos afterwards. So you never really pick up on the, the core substance of the intellectual shit that you're watching. Isn't that crazy when you really think about it that way? So, but no, seriously, like if you want to be something in life and you really want to get to it, you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. And this lady just showed me, she showed America, the world, the standard, that if you want to be out there getting it, that if you're not willing to be working from a hospital bed, then you ain't got what it takes to get it. And sometimes it's it's a tough pill to swallow when you when some people realize that this this that's just not cut out for them. It ain't worth all the work. And realistically, when you think about it for a second, it's not really a lot of work. It's crazy because people that do a lot will understand that. That when you start to do things that other people think is a lot and you do it you realize it's not a lot it's just because you it's more of a process to do it when you start to do it you realize like oh it's not hard or this isn't like complicated it's just because there's a process that you actually have to understand and learn and then once you understand and learn the process then you just do it so like no it's not hard or it's not like it's complicated or it's not too much so if you just if you're narrow-minded and you limit your capabilities like that you're just not you're, not, you're not cut out for the work, man. And you're really not. But before I even wander too far from my main point, the idea is, would you work for yourself if you were in a hospital bed, if you could? That's the real question. Screw if you would work for a job. I think everybody knows they would not want to do that unless they had an important job and they have to do that, right? But nobody really wants to do that. However, if you are working solely for yourself, for your own business, and you could work from hospital bed or your bedroom, let's just say hospital bed because that's where the picture was taken in a hospital room, would you do it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you liked the video, dislike if you disliked it. Like I said, leave a comment, I like to read them. If you're interested, check out the links in the description down below, some resources down there that you might like, check it out. Um, as always, I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.